Hi, welcome to Aspirations LLC. My name is Kathleen Carlson. This is Maria Lowe, my good friend. Uh, we are here today to talk about the use of essential oils in food. Most people don't think about using essential oils in food, but Maria has told me that if you're using therapeutic grade essential oils, um, that they can be safe to ingest. Maria is a Young Living distributor, so she uses all Young Living products which are food grade and are safe to ingest. So Maria, would you like to tell us about your salad dressing? Well, I've got to back up just a little bit because I did something that you might not have guessed of, and that is I actually sanitized all my vegetables with the oil of lemon. So what I did, I got a great big pot, I filled it up with water, and I put a couple of drops of lemon oil in the water, and I let my vegetables sit in there for about eight to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, swished them around, and then I drained them, and now they're all ready to be prepared for the salad. So that takes the place of actually having to wash them with soap or whatever other people might do, That's or just right. running, so mm -hmm. it's more effective than just running them under water then. That's right, because what, what I noticed in the water is you see the residue coming off the plants mm -hmm. from the dust or from the outdoor elements. Also the aphids just slip right off the plant. They're very hard to see because if they eat from the lettuce, for example, they're the same color. Uh -huh. But you'll actually see them floating in the water after, uh, after using the essential oil of lemon. And the lemon oil, is that antibacterial, antifungal? Does it get rid of things that you can't see on it, vegetables? It really does. Yes, it does. And it makes it last much better in your refrigerator when you huh. store your foods. They're much more vibrant and vital. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't get you know the mold and the fungus near as readily as they would normally would if you just bought them from the store and just stuck them in the refrigerator. Huh. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to make something simple from whatever you have in the refrigerator. But I'm going to make a, a salad dressing and I'm going to add some essential oils to the salad dressing. Now one of the important things about adding an essential oil, let's say, to a potato salad and you're going to take it on a picnic. If you put in uh, essential oil in the dressing, it'll actually help prevent food poisoning. Huh. So this is another reason why I like to integrate it into the food because it, it's like a, a, an insurance policy for, for your food because of its uh, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral qualities. So it acts like a preservative as well. It does. Le never, never underestimate lemon oil. The Young Living Lemon Oil is one of the least expensive oils, but it's highly back antibacterial. Huh. It's very effective, and it enhances the flavor of the salad dressing. I went ahead and I squeezed some lemon, and then uh, I'm going to put just a little bit of sweetener, and this is optional how much uh, you'd like to use. I've used the Young Living Blue Agave. It's like a nectar. And that's the sweetener that comes from a cactus? Yes, it is. and. It has very minimal effects on people who are, for example, diabetes or have a blood sugar problem. Many huh. people eat this and they find that it works for them. And we're going to put in a teaspoon of cumin. We'll just go ahead and we'll put that right in there. And then we have some Italian seasoning. So this is a general all-around dressing. This, this could be for any kind of salad? Yes, absolutely. You could use different herbs, for example, if you wanted to uh -huh. in this. And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, Celtic sea salt. You could use this, or the alternative might be some tamari or shoyu. You could certainly use that. And that you use this particular salt because it's adding minerals, or what's the yes, benefit? Yes, it's very, very, very balanced. In uh, table salt today, mineral components are not any longer available in that salt. Hmm. So you need to buy. So it's like eating white flour or refined sugar or something. Correct. Like that. Correct. That's a good example. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whisk in some olive oil. And this is a, an organic cold pressed oil, but I'm going to add something else to it. I'm going to add an essential fatty acid. And this is a pressed oil. It could be made from borage or primrose, pumpkin seed, uh, flax oil, for example. So this is the kind of oil, you couldn't get this in a grocery store, could you? Could you? Would it just be in a health food store? Some health food stores have a health section and they may carry it. And it has to have an, an, a balanced array of essential three, six, and nines, and some of them actually have a, 
uh, it's essential fatty acid number seven, they call it. Huh, I've never heard of that one. Which is very nice for inflammation. So here we are, we have the dressing, we have added the olive oil and the essential fatty acids. We've got the lemon in there, the cumin, the Italian seasoning, a little bit of sea salt. And now we're going to add an essential oil. So the essential oil of lemon, it's from the rind, it's very light. So it comes out very quickly, so you have to watch yourself that uh, you don't let too much. Three, three drops, there we are. Okay, that's all it's going to take. So that's the dressing that's all made up. Now, you can use this for uh, vegetables, like for example, broccoli, you could pour this over it. Uh, your salad, even a fruit salad. Now then, we're going to ha go ahead and we're going to add some vegetables to the salad and then we're just simply going to toss it. So we have our salad there and I'm going to cut a little bit of zucchini. Now you can do lots of different kind of vegetables. You could add uh, pieces of daikon radish or, or the red radish. Uh, you could quick steam some green beans if they were too tough. Oh, uh, pieces of broccoli, cauliflower. You could stick in even pieces of apple and that would work very nicely. Now do you marinate the salad after you put the dressing on or you just eat it right away? You can eat it right away. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm marinating the tomatoes a little bit. Okay. And so I put a little lemon uh, juice and a little bit of olive oil and they're ready to go in. Then I have some, a little bit of scallion. And uh, I have a little bit of red onion. Wow, it's starting to get very colorful. Yes, it's very, very colorful and very satisfying. And then I cut up some matchstick carrots. There we are. So we'll just toss that a little bit and we'll add our, our, a little bit of our salad dressing that has the Young Living Essential Oil of Lemon. And this is a wonderful way to, to appreciate the healing benefits of the essential oil of lemon while you're eating. It's very simple. So all the essential oils, you could actually use any essential oil or are there only certain ones that you could use for cooking? Well, there are actually a number that you could use for cooking, but for example, for a salad dressing like this, you could have, I could have used the oil of grapefruit or the oil of tangerine or orange. It would have been very nice. For the nice. citrus flavor? That's right. And what about instead of making an Italian dressing, could you put a basil oil or an oregano oil in it? Yes, and those oils are a little bit more intense. Uh -huh. And so if you're not familiar with them, what I would do, I would use a, a toothpick mm -hmm. and I would just stick it in the bottle like this. If you just stick it in the bottle like this. And this has a special lid on it. Yes, and it has a little hole there. Like a dropper. That's right, and okay. that helps you to control the amount because these are very precious oils. Okay. And if you, you don't want to overdo it. So you just put this in and then you can swirl this, if it was like a basil, in the salad dressing, in the dressing. until you get yourself acclimated to, to the strength. Now these, would these last longer? Say I've got a kitchen and I want to have oils to cook with, mm -hmm. all right? And maybe there's 10 or 12 oils that would be common, cinnamon, pepper, lemon. How long would they last? Because sometimes when I have herbs on my shelf, you know, they sit there mm -hmm. for a couple of years and you try to use them in cooking and there's nothing left in them. They, well, do one these thing, last longer? One thing about the essential oils, some of them are, are 3,000 times stronger than a herb in some cases. Mm -hmm. One thing about the oils, most of the people who bottle them put them in either green, blue, or brown bottles to protect the oils. Okay. But I wouldn't recommend them putting on top of the stove. If you had another area or a shelf, yes, put them there. So keep them cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're better and off keeping out them out of the cool. light if possible? Uh, well, yes, out of direct sunlight. Okay. But you, the other thing is you don't want them near the stove because if there was a fire, uh, it could uh, make it worse with the essential oils. Okay, so, so they're volatile because they're so concentrated they would they would That's burn. Correct. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend them keeping them on a shelf on top of the burner, for example. Okay, mm -hmm. that's a good hint. So yes, it, so yes it is. And so if this was a coleslaw, uh, a fruit salad, a vegetable salad, or like I had stated before, just a number of vegetables, you could go ahead 
and use this dressing with any number of essential oils. And it's refreshing. Your food is uh, healthy. You don't have to be afraid of the food breaking down as easily. And uh, with this keep, could I just have a bottle of this dressing in my refrigerator and just use it for a matter yes, of a keep, week or more? Yes, it'll keep very well. Huh. You'll be very surprised. That sounds convenient. So uh, give it a try. You'll, you'll like it. A lemon oil is very, very versatile.